My Digital Landscape. This is William with My Digital Landscape. Today we're going to talk a little bit about blogging within Squarespace, some of the common questions, and um, some of the great tools that Squarespace offers um, that you can utilize to get the most out of your Squarespace blog. If you have any questions, design needs, development needs, or Squarespace training needs, please feel free to reach out to us at mydigitallandscape.com. Um, so first off, when it comes to blogging within Squarespace, uh, really important that you pick the right template depending on what you need. The biggest things that you're going to find between the templates are how your blog is going to be displayed. Is it going to use a thumbnail image um, or is it not going to be using the thumbnail images? And the other thing that you're going to want to look out for is a sidebar. Do you need a sidebar that's going to have maybe a tag and category filters or a newsletter sign up? Or do you not need the sidebar because there are only a few Squarespace templates that do the sidebar right? Some of them have more flexibility than others. So um, for this example, uh, just set up a quick demo here on the Montauk template. Montauk template allows you to have a sidebar on your blog and it can sometimes be a challenge to figure out how to initiate that sidebar. Um, so I'm going to go over real quick. Um, if you are in and you had and you're setting up a blog page, uh, I'm not going to get into any of the basics of that today. Uh, we'll talk more about sidebars and the app, but you're going to set up just a basic um, blog page. On that blog page, as you get into it, you will be able to um, you will be able to edit the posts, add a new post. The one thing I did want to point out here in this screen um, are tags and categories. These uh, common misperception is that these are going to be, you know, great SEO tags that you're using or some kind of a hashtag. This is simply just a way to um, add another uh, keyword title to your post so that the, then you can um, or your customers can filter by the tag or category. So, you know, in terms of if I was going to tag this video right here, we could add a tag for this. And if I wanted to be able to filter by all of the videos um, that included, you know, Squarespace in them, or if, if I wanted to get more specific, I can add tags or categories to this. And then I can search by those tags or categories by creating a summary block that, that has this. So let me just create one just for an example. Uh, when you create a tag or another one, it's a little bit weird because you have to type the word that you want, then you have to hit return um, or enter on your keyboard. And then you have to make sure that you see it popping up here as an actual tag then you can click away from it um, and you'll see that tag there. So the other things I'll point out very briefly are going to be under options. You have the options to add your thumbnail image here. And the thumbnail image can will a lot of the times default to an image that you've uploaded. You can change this here and this is going to be the preview image that you would use you know, if you posted to social media, say Facebook, this would be the preview image that would be used in that post. Um, to not spend too much time on these blogging basics that I think a lot of people get, we're just going to save this and go back to the sidebar feature because we get this question quite a bit. Um, as far as the sidebar, this is going to be something that's going to be in your design tools under style editor. And on each template, it's different. So if you are not seeing a sidebar in your blog and you're trying to create one, you probably need to have it turned on here. Um, the thing about it is that it should probably be under blog styles, but depending on the template, again, it's in different places. So on Montauk, this particular template, we have blog layout. 
and we have it it's generally set to just be centered and then you have this hiding here where you can say right or left sidebar so let's turn on right sidebar uh, for these purposes and you'll see then this appear we also have the blog sidebar width option 300 pixels is pretty standard let's keep that on and I'll show you if we were actually going to go in here now we'll get an edit tool to edit our sidebar content and so we have our blog and our sidebar um, as far as the sidebar this is where a lot of people would put um, a newsletter block to sign up for a newsletter this is a great place for ads if you're going to be running any ads in it and this is also a great place to use um, filter and tag lists, I should say filters and lists, but here's your category list or a tag list. So we could create a tag list right here and say let's go from the news block and then you're gonna see that we have the square space that I just typed in there appear and any other tags that we have will just be appearing and then we can use that to categorize and sort through our blogs based on those tags. So again, please write us if you have any questions on that one, um, or again, reach out to us at mydigitallandscape.com. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention, if you are a Squarespace blogger, uh, would be the app is really cool um, and worth pointing out. So as far as the Squarespace um, blog app. Let me see if I can pull this one up real quick. Um, let's see here real quick if I can make this one appear real quick. There we go. So I wanted to point out this application right here. This is Squarespace blog app. Squarespace blog app is cool because once you have your blog set up on your page, this is actually a great mobile way to post. So you can go into your blog, you can create a new post. Um, you can write in the content here, but it's really neat because you can actually add some blocks as well. So you could go in and say create a uh, image block, a text block, a markdown block, or a video block. And you can actually take and drag those blocks around by holding on the screen, by clicking and holding and dragging the content blocks around similar to how you can within Squarespace. So this is the uh, when you're done with it, you can save it as a draft, which I think is very useful, and then publish it from uh, online. You can publish it directly. So a lot of times this is a very useful tool to be able to get in start doing some writing or go in and continue writing on a blog, and then you can save it as a draft and um, then post it later from your, uh, you know, from your PC. So that's a cool option. It's also really good for posting uh, mobile. So this is the, again, Squarespace blog app um, that you can find in the iOS app store. So blogging again, um, as far as what you will want is really going to depend on the template. Uh, if you'd like any suggestions, reach out to us on template suggestion or help, um, or just try Googling uh, uh, Squarespace blog templates with a sidebar, other things. You'll see some things um, if you search for those keywords as well. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is William with My Digital Landscape. Cheers. My Digital Landscape.